Chairman, I want to follow up on Senator Manchin's questions about what, what would replace the elimination of the education programs in NASA. You know, I, I grew up in the post-Sputnik era, and I think in response to Sputnik, what Congress and President Eisenhower did was to understand that the best way to compete was to make sure we had kids who were educated in science and math, the STEM subjects, who um, could then go on to careers at places like NASA, who could develop the next generation of technologies. And, um, and we followed those programs with a number of very high-profile missions from NASA. You know, I remember sitting in my class listening to Alan Shepard when he went up in space to that launch. I remember um, being with the rest of the country enthralled when we landed on the moon. And, uh, you know, that was, those were unifying factors for the country. And they were premised on this idea that we need to make sure everybody um, understands what NASA is doing, is excited about that, and, um, and particularly when it comes to kids, that they have um, the educational opportunities to be able to participate in growing the technology of this company and country and of NASA. And so I want to, I know that you've spent 28 years growing 52 space grant uh, consortium and 850 affiliates nationwide, and that that's been critical to continuing to keeping kids engaged in what's happening at NASA and in space and STEM. So how are you going to keep that network together if you eliminate the education programs? Yeah, so I, as, as I said earlier, one of the things that we were start, that we were working on before this budget came out was a better execution arm of our education process. Um, and so we were already looking at that in general, and that's when we saw that we could have some connection with our outreach program. Will I get to that same network? I honestly, I don't think I will have that same network, but when we looked at the ability to actually still use our missions, the, just like you described a minute ago, those kind of missions that inspire the next generation to actually stay in science and, and math, um, utilize our actual technical challenges needed in our missions to, to get challenges out there for the students, for education organizations to, to engage in. That's the way we're going to go more in that direction. Um, the, and, and that was just the decision we made when we, when we put the budget together. So. And how, how will you reach out to those underserved and underrepresented groups? Because those are the ones most at risk in terms of um, getting excited about STEM and about the scientific foundation that right. NASA's built on. Again, we believe we can, we can set up our challenges that we have today, like CubeSats and things that we do in space technology, the research grants. We can look to the, the HBCUs as an example of a place we can go for research grants um, for space technology and our science STEM activation activity. Um, but those are all funded by the mission directors, not by education. Um, well, I certainly disagree with the idea that you're going to zero out the education program and EPSCOR and I hope that this committee will be persuaded that that's not the right direction to go in.